Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited today to do a review and share with you my first ever Raquel Welsh wig. Now, I'm so excited about this because Raquel Welsh is, you know, an icon in the wig industry and I've wanted one of her wigs for a long time, not only to try and review and see what it's like, but also to really compare it to my other high-end wigs from Godiva Secret Wigs. And as a fan of Godiva Secret Wigs, I'm really interested to compare the two wig styles. And I am going to be doing a video in the future where I do that. But this is going to be a very raw and honest review of my first ever Raquel Welsh wig. Now, I'm really excited because it's a long wig. It's a monofilament wig. It's a lace front wig. And the colour is stunning. Now, before I show you the wig, and I know you're excited about this, I picked this up from Selfridges in London. Now, Selfridges in London is a big department store. They've got many, many things going on in there and they've got lots of floors. But if you go right to the back of the first floor, like the, the ground floor, okay, when you go in the doors, that floor there, and you go right down to the bottom, it's a huge store. On the left, they've got a little concession stand dedicated to hot air products. Now, hot air, as you know, is a website where you can order all kinds of wigs, high-end wigs, cheaper wigs, and, you know, Selfridges have got this little concession stand in there. Now, there's not many wigs, but you are able to go in there and try on the wigs and talk to a wig consultant and, you know, really buy them from there instead of buying from online and hoping for the best. You know, sometimes it's trial and error when you do that. You don't know if it's going to suit you or if you're going to have to send it back. So I thought, yeah, I was in London. I'm just going to nip in and see if they've got any new things because I have bought a wig from there before and I found this Raquel Welsh wig and I was just blown away by it. I love it so much. So I bought it home. It came home with me. And this wig in UK pounds to buy over the counter was £390. Now, the lady knocked me off £90, so I got it for £300. So, you know, it's quite an expensive wig. It's a high-end wig, but it's a great wig. You can tell that it's a high-end wig. You know, you, well, you, when you're wearing it, you can't tell it's a wig at all. But, you know, if you were comparing it with the cheaper wigs, you'd know straight away it was something special. And the colour just blew me away, so I had to have this wig. So this was a little treat to myself. You know, give myself a little treat. So I have actually got her on a wig stand because I have been wearing this a little bit. So, you know, and the, the bag, what I'm finding first of all is, you know, the bag is tiny. It came in this little bag and storing it in this little bag, it's knotting all the hair up. Now, when you get a Godiva secret wig, and I've got mine here for later because I'm going to be putting this on and this is my thin candy wig, my favourite wig. I'm going to be putting this on for my other channel, Guided by Angels. Look at the difference in the size of the bag, okay? A big difference. So with the Godiva's wigs, the first thing is, you know, more storage space. And I am going to be doing, a, you know, a compare video as well in the future, which will be really exciting. And I'll give you my honest opinion about which I think is the better wig. But look at this wig. So I've wrote on what it is. So this wig is a Raquel Welsh. And it's from her signature collection. And the wig is called Scene Stealer, as in the scene from a film. Scene Stealer. And it's Cinnabar. This colour is called Cinnabar. It's a very rich, kind of, you know, ready. I'd say there's a hint of strawberry blonde in there, ginger. You know, it's just a really, really pretty wig. And you can see it's got all these cinnamon highlights around the front there. You've got kind of raspberry tones in there and, you know, gingery. It's very gingery, but in the light, you know, it's got this real kind of, you know, just beautiful red vibe to it. And I love the reds. I'm all about the reds, whatever colour they are. So this colour is Cinnabar and it's RL32 slash 31. Now, you know, I'm new to these kind of numbers for um, colours. You know, in my opinion, I think it's much better to have a name and to have, a, a, you know, the name of the colour, such as with the Godiva's wigs, you know, Thin Candice in Ginger Brown. 
you know, whereas this is scene stealer in RL 3231, but it does say Cinnabar on it, so the colour is Cinnabar. So it's Raquel Welsh, let's get her on my head. So, first of all, put her on this wig stand, and they gave me this free too. This is a little wig stand that I've got here, dead easy to put up, so I'm just going to pop that on the floor and show you the colour first of all. Look at this gorgeous colour, it's gorgeous, it's so pretty, and it's a very long straight wig. She does get tangled easy. I have noticed that the hair, when I'm running my fingers through it, yes, it's realistic, but it doesn't feel the same as the Godiva Secret Wigs. <clears throat> you know, and I have to be honest about that, you know. So it does feel very real, but it does get matted up. So I am finding with this wig, I am brushing it a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am brushing it a lot, especially if I've been out in the wind, you know, and I've worn this out a couple of times and, you know, I've had to brush it while I've been out as well. So it does get knotty easy, but I mean, it is worth it. Look at the colour and the style. And it's got this gorgeous cut and around the face, you know, you've got this lace front that's already pre-cut. So you haven't got to worry about that. And what I did find when I first got the wig was that the lace front was kinking up a little bit at the top, which... You know, it started to concern me because I've spent a lot of money on this wig. But I've found since I've sewn wig clips in, it's settled down, okay? So I'm going to show you inside the cap first of all. So just like the other high-end wigs, you've got all the breathable wefting at the back. You've got the label at the bottom there that says it's Raquel Welsh. And then at the front, you've got this piece of monofilament, which means you can part it wherever you want to. And it's also very flat to the head, so it sits very realistically. And you've got the lace front, which, as I said, is pre-cut. Now, touching the lace front, it does feel like it may irritate the head, but it doesn't when it's on. Okay, with the Godiva's lace fronts, they don't feel that way. So, again, that's something I've noticed straight away. But I will be doing a compare video. I'm trying to not do that here and just give you an honest review of this Raquel Welsh wig, which is stunning. So I've sewn two wig clips in there, as you can see. I've found that it doesn't really need another one in the back because it is a very light wig. So if you're wondering if this is a light wig to where it is, you know, feeling it, it's, it, you know, it's a lot of hair, but it feels light when it's on. So again, very realistic. So again, just turn it inside out. You can see how she's got a little bit tangled and matted up. So, you know, I do find that's an issue with this wig. Okay, I don't know if it's, a Raquel Welsh thing, you know, if that's how the wigs just are, but it's something I'm finding, okay, so I'm going to put her on, so I'm going to just put my wig clips on, again, remember, I've sewed these in, I get a pack of these from Amazon for like £7, they're really good, 50 in there, and they're really quality ones as well, and it doesn't take long to sew them in, now, first I'm going to prep my hair, so as you can see, I've had my hair cut over, you know, the Christmas period, the New Year, and, you know, I really do love it. And it's growing a little bit, actually. You can tell, even though, you know, it's not that... It just does grow very quickly. So if I'm putting my wig on now, all I'm doing is pushing all of my hair back, okay? And I know it's going to look crazy and weird, but I don't really care. And I'm going to pull back, you know, my sideburns. And I'm going to kind of push up, you know, the, the bit underneath. So get rid of my hair. So that's what I've done. So if you've got short hair... You know, that's the way to do it. If you've got longer hair, if you go back to my previous videos, you'll see how I prep my hair. All I did was kind of pull it all back into a low ponytail and band it around three times. And on the third banding, just put a tiny little bun in the back, which anchors the wig. Now, when I had my hair cut, I was thinking, is it going to affect the way I wear the wigs? Because I haven't got that anchor there of that ponytail. But it doesn't. You know, I don't even need to tighten them up because I've sewn in the wig bands. So at the back of this wig, you've got, they're not bra strap ones, the Velcro adjusters. So you can just make it as tight or as loose as you want to, to suit your head. Now, I do personally prefer the bra strap, bra strap ones, but I find I don't really mess with them anyway. So it doesn't really matter to me. So I'm going to put her on and I'm going to let the wig fall the way the wig wants to fall. Because as I said, you can part this anywhere you want to because it's monofilament. And, you know, it gives you the option of that. So even though it's a lace front, it hasn't got, 
you know, that parting where it, it's stuck somewhere. But the wigs usually do want to do what the wigs want to do. And it does look much better sometimes when you let it fall in its natural state. So I've given her a brush, as you know, and you're going to see again when I put it on my head how matted it can get just by messing with it. So I'll probably have to brush it again. You know, using my fingers, I find with this wig isn't enough. So I'm going to put my thumbs at the back of the wig there. I'm going to put the front of the wig about there and I'm going to pull her over as if I'm putting my head into a bucket. So it's like you're putting your head into the wig, okay? Now I'm pulling it down at the back and I'm grabbing the two ear taps. So just like the Good Iris Secret Wigs, they've got those at each side and they are very comfortable. Okay, It's none of this Amazon having to cut them out and all of that high-end wigs create the wigs and the caps and the construction of them so much better so they're comfortable on your head this is an average size cap as well and it fits me snugly and perfectly so it's on straight and then I'm just going to push her up you can see the lace front there as well I'm going to pull her up to my natural hairline okay which is about there let me just check in the mirror because sometimes it is hard to see on the camera that's right so it's about right now, can you see how this little bit of lace at the front is sticking up? Okay, now I'm going to clip in my wig clips and it does get rid of that, okay? But that was a bit concerning to me when I first bought this wig because I thought, hang on, I've paid a lot of money for this wig and the lace front doesn't feel right. But it has flattened it down, okay? And you can't really tell even now. So you can see, first of all, before I mess around with the wig, this gorgeous colour. So I love how, first of all, the thing that comes through is it brightens up my entire face and it changes my whole look. You know, me with hair, you know, I just prefer to have, you know, a longer hair look sometimes because it's more natural to me. You know, I've always had long hair. This is so new to me, having short hair. And I do love it, but I also love the fact that I can just throw a wig on and be back to, you know, my old self in a way. So I'm going to start, okay, by using my fingers now again like i say it is tangling up a little bit you can very well just use your fingers you don't have to use a brush you know it's not like it feels completely unrealistic it feels very realistic this hair you know don't get me wrong i don't want you to think it isn't because it is but and you can see it is working just running my fingers through but for me you know i just want to get rid of all that knotty so I prefer to just grab it and hold it and give it a nice brush at the end. And you can see how sleek it's going now. So moving it around. Now, again, let it do what it wants to do. So the last time I wore this wig, it, it was parting the other way. And it, for some reason, it's parted this way today. And I do like it this way because when I used to wear my own hair long, this was exactly where the parting was. I used to wear it parted on the right, going over to the left. So it feels quite natural putting it on today, you know, because I have been wearing it parted the other way. And I haven't worn it a lot, but you know, I've seen it a couple of times over, you know, the Christmas period, that's it. So but it is a gorgeous wig. So I've been dying to show this to you. Okay, I've been dying to show this to you. So just giving her a little brush through. <clears throat> I've got the heating on quite hot, that's why... You know, it's I've got a little bit of a cough going on because it's you know it's like when you've got hot air in the house and you're trying to talk, it gets in your throat a little bit. So that's what's going on. If you're wondering, <clears throat> just clean my throat a little bit. So I'm giving her a little brush through here. Look how long and gorgeous it is. This colour cinnabar is stunning, and that's why I saw this wig. I thought, oh my goodness me, that's so me. I've got to own this wig. Okay. She's not really shedding, a little bit of hair's come off there, not much at all. Now, I love it. I mean, look at this here. So, you can see where the lace front is, okay? You could see that kinking up a little bit there, but again, very natural to the head. Very natural wig. You know, you would never know that this was a wig if you were going out in this wig. So, beautiful. And, you know, I absolutely love this colour. Now, I know they do do this wig in other colours. This was the only colour they had in at Selfridges, which was lucky for me because, you know, this is the colour I wanted. I'm sure if it, they got this in all the colours, I would have probably bought another one. So it was probably a good job that they didn't because I would have spent more money than I needed to. 
but isn't it gorgeous i just love it so you know and you can see on the wig before i even show you the wig you know show you you know with the mirror you can see there's natural cutting points in this wig too so you know if you got this wig and you thought i love the color i love the look but it's a little bit heavy on the hair meaning there's too much hair you can see you could easily cut it to that you know and have it kind of as a shoulder length wig you know that would look very pretty as well but i like all the length on this you know it's very pretty it reminds me a lot of thin candies that's why i really do like it so i'm going to show you first of all with the mirror so look at this gorgeous color <clears throat> you know this gorgeous red it's beautiful <clears throat> excuse me coughing there so you know absolutely stunning and i'll show you the top of the wig there so you can see it's very flat to the head because of the monofilament I like how it's kind of parted like that. You could make it into more of a natural parting. Let's do that now. So, you know, if you wanted to kind of make it into a block parting, you know, like this. So when you're, yeah, look how matted it is again. So, you know, you have to make sure you give this a good brush. You know, look at that there. So that does look a bit better and more natural because you can see all the highlights through it there you know and looking in the mirror it does look a lot more natural doing that so look at this as well really pretty so i'm going to do you a turn so you can see in the light so this is the front of the wig so again lace front there's where my hairline is and totally natural you know you'd never know you know you'd never know with my own hair you know i just tuck it in there you know there, you could pull it back and do many things with this just make sure your own hair is tucked in and those side tabs are down this is the color from the side and see how all that layering <clears throat> you know it kind of goes in very natural and then from the back you know there's a lot of hair look at the movement it's a stunning wig a stunning wig so you know i'm really impressed with this wig i really do like it i feel it suits me a lot as well because it does remind me in a way of my own hair but I also know that it needs some maintenance, which is a bit like your own hair. I mean, this is synthetic hair. As far as I'm aware, it's synthetic hair. You know, I could understand why it was tangling a bit more if it was human hair. And I haven't got a human hair wig. You know, I do prefer the synthetic wigs just because of the easiness of them. But, you know, I can imagine if I had a human hair wig, I'd have to be doing this too. So again, you know, it makes it a bit more realistic because you're brushing it a lot. But that's kind of, you know, the only con for me, what I would say. So there's so many pros to this wig, you know, colour, style, feel, lightweight, <clears throat> you know, very realistic looking. It's comfortable to wear. The only con I'd say is the fact that, you know, it does get matted very easily. But all you have to do is just carry a brush or a little comb in your bag. And if you haven't got that, just make sure, you know, you're running your fingers through. But when you're doing that... You know, make sure you're doing it with no grease on your fingers or makeup or, you know, any grime on there because it will go into your wig and then you'll need to wash your wig quicker. You know, when you wash your wig, they say wash your wig after about 10 to 15 times of wearing it. So, you know, she's still quite new for me, this wig. I've only worn her a couple of times, but I love it. But, you know, this gorgeous colour, gorgeous, you know. So I'm going to put my earrings back in and show you the full look. So amazing how you can go from short to long from long to short medium with this wig you can be blonde red brunette whatever you want gray white whatever color you want to gorgeous so this is raquel welsh cinnabar scene stealer so she certainly does steal the scene you know she certainly does make you the star of the show when you wear this wig and i just do absolutely love it so let me know in the comments section what you think of this wig so this is available from Hot Hair online or in Hot Hair concession stores. I'm sure they'd be able to order this in for you. Or I'm sure she is just available anyway through Raquel Welsh directly or anywhere else that sells Raquel Welsh wigs. But I really do like this wig. So maybe checking her out in the future in a different colour. You know, maybe a blonde. But, you know, for the red, for the first one for me to have this red, top notch. So I would give this wig 10 out of 10 for the colour, the style, the feel, everything about it really. 
You know, if I was going to mark it down for anything, it would just be the fact that it does mat up quite easily. But that doesn't really matter. You know, your own hair does that too. So again, very realistic looking. So Raquel Welsh, Scene Stealer in Cinnabar. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.